top of the morning YouTube. So, you wanna go foraging for mushrooms. You've been watching foraging content on YouTube. You've been looking at mushrooms popping up in the forest. You're kind of interested. You wanna do it yourself, but you've got no idea how or where to start. And you don't wanna kill yourself. My top five tips for you are... Number one, first and foremost, buy a really good field guide. Check this out. There's many out there, so depending on what species it is you're looking for, I highly recommend a copy of Roger Phillips's classic Mushrooms. This one uh, was first published in 1981, this copy was. Coincidentally, the year of my birth, but there are brand new up-to-date ones available, or loads of other good ones on the market. Top tip, number two, use your phone. Now, I know how that sounds, and there is something inherently romantic about gaining one's knowledge through books, but, you know, let's move with the times and use the most powerful tool in our technological arsenal, our phones. So I've tried this recently. When I come upon a species, I don't have a clue what it is, or I'm pretty sure, but I want a little bit of extra guidance. I've been checking out, for example, Google Lens, and I've been pretty impressed. It has been pretty accurate in whittling down the species I photographed to kind of between one or three possibilities. Now, this doesn't mean you take the answer it gives you as red. It means if you've got no idea or you have a very good idea, take a shot, give it a go and let that point you in the right direction. But then it's up to you and only you to go home, do the really hard work, check every single piece of the mushroom species, fits the identification and really nail it to what it is. In fact, you know what, there's, there's a mushroom down here right now. Let's give this a go right now. So just below me, right down here, as you can see, there is a species I am almost certain is something called the tawny grisette. That's its common name. Let's take a quick shot. See what the internet says. I mean, that's kind of staggering, to be honest. So the very first option it gives up is Amanita fulva, which is indeed the tawny grisette. I'm amazed, I'm kind of sad it took years to get all this knowledge, but you know, what an amazing tool. Top tip, number three, learn the most deadly species first. You need to be able to go out and identify what will kill you before identifying what is delicious or will make you feel interesting. I didn't start like this. I was really young. It's totally counterintuitive because the first thing you want to know is what's going to make you feel good and what's going to taste utterly delicious. But believe you me, if you learn the top deadly mushrooms first, then you can go out into the forest feeling pretty secure that you're going to be just fine. Number four, learn your trees and environment. Mushrooms grow at different types of the year in all different types of environment and they grow often in a symbiotic relationship with different types of plants and trees. So learn your trees, look at what time of the year it is, then you'll know whether to go out to the fields hunting for St. George's mushrooms or coming to the forest looking for the king of all mushrooms, seps, the porcini, the penny bun, um, that grow with Scots pine, birch, oaks, Learn your trees. Don't know what you're looking at. Well, ah. Okay, top tip number five. Like maybe the ultimate top tip of all top tips. The golden rule of mushroom hunting. When in doubt, leave it out. Or as the saying goes, there are old mushroom hunters and there are bold mushroom hunters, but there are no old bold mushroom hunters. Foraging is trending now, wild food is trending, and people die every year from misidentification of species. Don't be that person, it's not worth dying for a mushroom. Mush love one and all, peace out. Check out the next video if you're into mushrooms. Good luck, get out in the woods. Bah!
little bonus tip. Some forests, depending on where they are, are absolutely full of mosquitoes. Get some mosquito spray. I like to go for the one that's absolutely full of DEET, not the natural bullshit. Theory being, if it doesn't kill me, it's not gonna kill the mosquito.